Welcome to Extraterrestrial Reality. Who do you blame for this long-standing cover-up? I mean, who is the person that is the most responsible? Um, and when disclosure finally comes, what's going to happen? Are there going to be lawsuits for the cover-up? Um, we're going to get into that. And anyway, I want to just start here. The, the, basically, the buck stops with Harry S. Truman. He was the president uh, in 1947 when the flying saucer business all began, when the big flap of 47 happened, when Roswell happened. And uh, he was there for the next, uh, until January of 1953 when Dwight Eisenhower came into office. So it's actually, it's the buck stops with Harry Truman. He's the person who allowed to happen whatever it, it is that has happened basically allowed the formation of a secret group that has been kept secret and kept away from the public they basically have controlled all information with regard to the extraterrestrial presence here since 1947 um there's no question that this group exists there's just no doubt about it it's 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 a fact and uh and it's it's the blame goes to Truman. But what's going to happen here is what I believe is going to happen is that there's going to be a lot of angry people when when a, when disclosure finally happens. Now I'm not going to be one of those angry people because in a way I understand why it happened in the first place. Um, there's no doubt that uh, there's a lot of concerns <laughs> with uh, making something like this public because of what it means to the human race. I mean it's going to change everything. Uh, I'm sure for the people in the know, it's changed the way they look at everything. So yeah, it's it's the, there are, there's going to be lawsuits, and I think most of the people are are going to be uh, complaining or are going to be the people who are basically making fools out of themselves right now. Uh, uh, the debunkers, the people who just don't uh, act stupid about it, don't believe it, don't do the research, and they're going to be the ones who, when the time comes, uh, they're going to be the ones most flabbergasted and 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 they'll be indignant uh, about uh, to to the powers that be. Uh, I'll be happy about it when it comes, but uh, there are going to be lawsuits most certainly flying. Uh, you know, just recently we were talking about uh, how there was an attempt during uh, George H.W. Bush's presidency um, in the early 90s to basically pull the lid off disclosure and tell the public the truth, but there was just a, a lot of resistance. And in fact, in uh, Richard Dolan's uh, uh, book, uh, UFOs in a National Security State, Volume 2, on page uh, 566, uh, one of the concerns came from the Auditor General's office, and there, here's a sentence from from uh, that from this book: the Auditor General's office worried that the government might face enormous lawsuits from angry citizens. Well, I, I think that they are going to get uh, angry. They're going to get lawsuits from angry citizens. There's, there are going to be certain people that are going to want some heads to roll uh, because they're going to feel like they were duped. Uh, and uh, they're going to have to, they're going to want, especially like the skeptics, the debunkers, like a lot of those people, the people that really have dug themselves a hole here. Uh, and they're going to look like complete fools. Uh, I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, the fact that they were unable to see this reality when there were a lot of people like me pointing it out to them. Uh, like, look at, here's the evidence. I mean, if this isn't enough for you, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, here's some books to read. Maybe that will help you out. You know, they're going to, but see, they don't do that stuff. So when the time comes, they're going to want some heads to roll because they're going to want, they're the ones who are going to look like the total fools. So they're going to try to, uh, pro, you know, try to uh, take their anger out on people in the government. I don't think it's going to work. I, and actually, I, I, I would, I would think, I, I think what should happen. I, or maybe it's, you know, it's something that's being thought about right now. Uh, there should be immunity. I mean, we do have this whistleblower protection in the uh, upcoming twenty twenty three uh, National Defense Authorization Act. Right? There's whistleblower protection for people who want to step forward and tell the truth about UFOs and extraterrestrials. Uh, so there should be immunity granted to anybody who basically is responsible right now, uh, who has been responsible for years for maintaining this cover-up. But I think we're going to have to get some answers about how this started, why it started. Uh, the people that have been responsible throughout the years, dead or alive, I mean, a, a lot of them are probably, I'm sure, are dead. Obviously, there's no question. Uh, uh, all those names on that original Majestic 12 list, the 12 names on that original list, all those people are dead. 
and we know that there was uh, uh, somebody who replaced the uh, uh, James Forrestal, who was the Secretary of Defense back in 1947. He ended up uh, dying in the, I think I believe it was 1949. Um, he committed suicide. He was in a in a hospital, and uh, he he was mentally ill apparently. Uh, some people actually believe he he was they killed him. The government killed him. I, I don't know. It was suspicious. There were some suspicious aspects about his suicide, but it, that's beside the point. But he had a replacement, and that guy, that replacement for Forrestal was dead. I was getting off track there a little bit. So you have those original members, but we really don't know who was on Majestic 12 after that. Uh, really, we don't have any documentation that, uh, that you know, since those original leaks that shows who, who could possibly be on Majestic 12 since those original 12 members. And then there was a 13th member that replaced Forrestal. After that, I, I there, you know, there's no real, real information out there to tell us anything else. And Harry Truman was the one who signed off on all this, so... Like he used to say himself, the buck stops with him, right? And the buck stops with him on this one because he's the one who started this. And how it was able to, to continue this long, I don't know. I'm sure that uh, it's probably something that's classified above top secret because of the implications. And, and rightly so. Rightly so. It's understandable, especially in the early days of why it would have been considered you know, above top secret because it, need, it needed to be a stay, stay that way, I, I believe, in the early days. Uh, by the late 50s, early 60s, I think that a lot of people, were, you know, UFO researchers were very upset about this, about this cover-up, and they, they didn't like the idea that this was just stretching on and on and on, and they wanted to take the lid off it, like the uh, Marine Corps, retired Marine Corps Major Donald Kehoe, who wrote several books on this, had a lot of contacts within the Pentagon, knew, knew for a fact that they were extraterrestrial vehicles. Um, you know, the insiders were telling him that. So, uh, and he was upset with it, and he thought that the government was treating the public like children, like, you know, that they can't handle the truth, and that's basically what's been going on since. I mean, it's still going on. Now they're, they're trying to basically spoon-feed us this information, like we're a bunch of babies. We're like, right now, we're like babies being spoon-fed uh, with a little bit of information since 2017, basically. Uh, so... Do, what do I think should happen when once the cover once this lid is pulled off and once everyone knows that there's uh, uh, that there is an extraterrestrial presence here and that there has been a cover up uh, should heads roll? No, I don't think there should be heads roll at all. I, I just I don't believe that. No, I do not think that anyone in the Pentagon should be facing any sort of lawsuits or anything. For one thing, I mean they have a legitimate excuse. They could just say, "Look at." Yeah, this is this was considered top secret. We couldn't let this out to the to the public. I mean, we we, we don't know. I mean, this this is a matter of national security because it really is a matter of national security. I mean, they could they could rightly state, well, you know, we don't know what these beings are up to. Uh, so we had it. We we were trying to figure that out. They could come out and say now, well, we still don't know what they're up to, uh, but they're just so advanced than we are that uh, <laughs> we have to give up. Uh, we, ha we have to let you know now. It's just we, we tried. We looked into it. That's probably their best bet, right? Acts really dumb about what they're... Because if they uh, start trying to answer questions about what they know about cattle mutilations and alien abductions, uh, it's going to be really bad for them. Um, so, you know, I, the, but at the same time, there will be people. Uh, at the same time, I believe there will be people who will try to take uh, legal action against... Uh, certain people within the in that group within the Pentagon that has been uh, keeping this secret, uh, at least the ones who are still alive, and there'll probably be lawsuits against the government itself. Against, uh, I don't know how it will work, but there will be lawsuits. I I, I really believe that there are going to be very some very upset people. Um, uh, you know, look at some of the debunkers. I mean, they, they, out there, they just they're, they're making fools out of themselves on a daily on a daily basis. I mean, if you're if you're somebody who follows ufos on on twitter or reddit or facebook right you'll see i mean these people continually just today i was looking at, at, at comments made by new york post writer stephen greenstreet he's a big time a big time debunker there's another uh, uh writer out there who's a uh, well-known writer jason cavaluto uh, cavaluto constant big time debunker making a fool out of himself all the time about ufos constantly right uh, you know, there's just so many names out there, so many people out there constantly, you know, just making themselves look like idiots in, in my view, because I mean, 
I know that they're here. I mean, I've seen one of the craft, and I've I encountered a being, so they're here. And I know for a fact. Uh, and uh, and these people obviously have not educated themselves, and they're smart people. I'm not saying they're dumb people; they're smart people, but they're not educated themselves enough on this subject. So so when this when this shoe finally drops, they're going to be very upset, and they're going to uh, probably you know there's going to be a lot of finger pointing and uh a lot of crybaby stuff and uh I, I don't think there should be i mean am i upset about the cover-up yes i'm very upset about it but hey let i just want to get disclosure over with i mean yes this is a, a big time issue that should have never went on this long uh this cover-up yes i'm very upset about it however once disclosure happens hey let bygones be bygones you know let's just move on however i will i would want to know exactly you know what this cover-up entailed what was being covered up over all these years uh and i would like to have statements I, I think it's imperative that the american people be given statements from people within the pentagon uh regarding why they kept covered this up the i mean we all probably have some good ideas you know uh, i mean and i'm sure you know the you know the two words could you know could pr pretty much say it national security and there's a lot of things fall under that so but exactly what well what do you and then not only that but what have they learned we want we need to know things that they have learned right of course again i always say this too whatever they learn with the reverse engineering stuff yeah that re, that needs to be remain that needs to remain secret once disclosure happens i mean that's you can't give enemy countries information about that that would be stupid right so but everything else i think needs to come out and regardless regardless of any terrifying aspects of this need to come out the alien abduction aspects if there's whatever they have on that what, what do you know uh you know what do you know about the cattle mutilations would you have any idea what they're using the cattle the cow blood for you know uh, give us all uh, give give the public that data give the scientific community that data uh but again, I, I'm not going to be one of the, those people that believe that there, there, there needs to be a million different lawsuits filed against all these different uh, offices and people within the Pentagon because they uh, have been maintaining this cover up for all these years. I mean, basically, what I would like to know is exactly, you know, what authority? I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, I'm sure they're going to say it was national security, but under whose authority, uh, you know, have presidents known about this? Are presidents even these days given this information? That's another good question. It seems like more recent presidents have not been given these this information. I mean, it seems like Clinton tried to find out things and he was not given those, those, those answers. It seems like Obama, I, I don't know about George W. Bush, he seems like he might know, but then again, his dad was a CIA director. Uh, before becoming before he became president uh, so he might george w bush might might know more than than some of these other presidents just because of the fact that his father you know was cia director and then president and also uh, if if the some of these anecdotal evidence some of this anecdotal evidence is correct that george h h w bush tried to uh uh you know they tried to uh tell the truth at one point uh but it doesn't seem. I don't think uh, there's no way that, that Trump knew. I, I mean, if he knew, he would have he would have blurted it out already. I mean, you know, just <laughs> I, that that would have been a done deal already. And and I don't know about Biden at all. I mean, he, you know, it was brought up to him one time. I remember watching him on, at a podium, and he just he, he just smiled and walked away. So I don't know what that tells you. Uh, it just seems like the presidents, for the most part, the every time they're questioned about it, they seem very careful. That's one thing, though. All of them. All of them. You know, I've seen recent interviews, you know, if you look at some of the, I, I know that there was some interviews in the last couple of years with a lot of these presidents, former presidents, uh, and they, they're very careful, it seems, when they're talking about it. You know, they, they, they're, they, they watch what they say for the most part. Now, I know Obama was recently joking about it, saying, uh, but I, we don't really know if, you know, he was saying that the, uh, the, that, uh, the government uh, found, you know, we gave you the, uh the answer we, we finally let you know about aliens but then he said oh no he didn't really mean that about ufos or whatever but that was joking um but anyway i'm not sure about presidents these days i mean how long were presidents being fully briefed on this and when did that stop or have these all these presidents in recent years are they just lying to us because they just can't tell us i i who knows but i think all of that stuff needs to come out i like to know the answers to all these questions Although I don't think that any, there needs to be any kind of lawsuits, right? Yeah, I, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be upset and going to, you know, they might try to file lawsuits. I don't know. 
Uh, there might be some organizations out there uh, uh, that believe this is, you know, this should never have happened. And there might be some, you know, who knows, uh, different uh, legal action taken against the, the Pentagon for, for basically uh, sitting on this, the, the biggest news of all time, basically. The fact that there's an extraterrestrial presence on this planet. So, uh, but yeah, I, I think uh, people who are interested in this subject, people who know that there's something going on, people who follow this, I don't think people like 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 me or people who listen to this podcast are going to be you know cr- you know crying out for blood, right? I, I just don't see that. Uh, I see other people doing that. I see skeptics doing that. People that are making fools out of themselves right now. Uh, demanding that uh, there be investigations and lawsuits and all that stuff. But anyway, I, I do think that it all goes back to Harry Truman. He's the one who basically signed off on Majestic 12 originally from the documentation that I've seen. Right? I know a lot of people like to pretend that that's not real, but it is. It, it's, it's real. Even some ufologists, people who look into it, uh, they say there's not enough proof to show it's real. I think that Stanton Friedman, uh, in his one book, uh, Top Secret, uh, uh, majestic uh, magic top secret magic uh, he basically laid it all out it's it's real uh, those doc those those original majestic 12 documents were real and they were signed off on by by harry truman and there was a briefing prepared for the president-elect uh, dwight eisenhower in late 1952 to, to, to bring him up to date on the situation so that all of that's true so i mean that's where the finger gets pointed all the way back to harry truman but what are you gonna do you know sue him He's dead. He's dead since uh, December of 1972. So uh, I think once disclosure happens, hey, let's forget about the lawsuits. Let's not play the blame game or anything like that. Let's just, you know, just let's realize that the, you know, however this started, why ever it started, why it, why it was kept, why the secret was kept for so long. Let's just, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll ask for the answers. But hey, let's not uh, start filing lawsuits left and right. Although there will be, I, I, I fully expect that there will be.